that's hard. But Hell yeah, it is. It's, it's hard in the face of religion. It's hard in the face of family. It's hard in the face of friends because everybody wants to put you in a box. And I just stepped on every possible box that tries to get on top of me. And I'm like, here it is. Yeah. You know, and it's not perfect, but it's not going to be. But something about just embracing that part of life is okay. I believe our creator created us. One, for truth being a very important thing, because truth leads us to who we really are and who we were created to be. And you can't live your purpose unless if you know your identity. Mm -hmm. So one of the most beautiful things I believe is if we just walk out what we believe to be true for ourselves, we have a creator that will let us walk long enough in what we believe to be true, only to slap us upside the head and go, uh -huh, that's not what I want for you. I want something else. So. We get little afflictions or we get have little things that happen to alter our path to get us back on the right path. Mm. That's a beautiful thing. I don't need religion. I don't need books. I don't need any of that to figure that part out. And so I don't, while how I turned my life around was a supernatural experience in jail and facing five years, ultimately for me, it's been the truth that has kept me free. Even the truth about my sin the truth about my failures, my truth about my dysfunctions, it's all led me to the path that has led to my purpose and has led to my blessings and has led to all that really is meant for me. And that's a really beautiful thing. I wish, I wish more people knew how powerful truth is because you wouldn't give a shit about what other people thought. You wouldn't care what books said. You wouldn't care what your teacher said. You would quit caring about what mommy and daddy said. And I know mommy and daddy are important. And I love my mom and my bonus dad loved them, but they don't know always what's best for me. Okay. Yeah. You know, but we, for yeah. well, I think it's for people who are struggling. They're like, I don't know what's best for myself and I don't know who I am. Or they may be struggling with dissociative identity disorder, this idea of truth. In order to get there, I keep going here. So much of trauma abuse control is mired in shame, which divorces us from truth, from love, from grace, from the ability to stand there and say, regardless of what happens around me as a byproduct of speaking my truth, I will have my own back. Yes. If you don't know who you are and you are steeped in shame, you might as well just say, I want you right now to turn into an elephant. Like it just, it just feels so hard, <laughs> right?